All right, good morning everyone. Welcome to Australia. All right guys, so we made it to Perth a couple days back. We are in Fremantle right now and we're gonna head on the Rottnest Express for 25 minutes and we are heading to Rottnest Island. Rottenness Island. So it costed 60 Aussie dollars, around 45 American dollars to jump on the ferry and it includes admission and then $30 Aussie dollars. We get a bicycle. So let's go grab our bicycle right now. Thank you. All right. So this will be my bike for the day. But yeah, so they have bicycles all around the island. That's the primary way of getting around Rottenness Island. They do have a shuttle uh, that will take you around the island. Oh, hello, mate. Time to see the quackers, eh? Let's go find some quackers, mate. And that's one of the reasons why uh, everyone comes to Rottenness Island is for the quackers. The wind is just destroying us right now. Oh, it's starting to drizzle a little bit. Rain is not good for the vlog. So Rottenness Island got its name from a Dutch explorer in 1696. Rottenness, which basically means rottenness. treacherous weather right now. Oh my goodness. You're looking good, Dustin. <laughs> and this is the quackas, what they thought were rats. Hey, buddy. Oh. Oh. He hops like a bunny. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> oh, man. He's so adorable. Oh, we should probably stay dry, too. So we found some cover here. It is raining like crazy. Rain is not good for the vlog. Oh, why does it have to rain? Definitely not better for us. Not better for us. Not better for us. So this is like the main area where all the food's at, right by the pier or the port. This is a restaurant here. You got a subway. You got a little bakery, which yummy. And you got some pretty loud birds. Oh my god, we found another little quokka. No touch. Hey buddy. No touch. No touch. <laughs> Says the fun police. Uh, illegal to touch them, illegal to play with them, but it's okay. Look at him. Hey. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Oh. And they kind of like hop like a kangaroo, kind of like a kangaroo rat. Oh, and his arms. Look at his arms. Oh, <laughs> oh god. Oh my god! <laughs> oh shit. Just look at how mean he is. Oh my god. This <laughs> yep, and when you're in Rottenness Island, let's eat fresh. Good morning. It's still morning? Aussie steak looks good. So we were just told to be careful of the seagulls because they love Subway. I actually took half his sandwich yesterday. <laughs> Gotta be careful from the seagulls. They're super <laughs> aggressive in Australia. Oh, this is so nice. The sun's out. Now we can jump on the bikes and uh, enjoy rottenness a little bit more. All right, where should we go? We are there. Looks like there's a swimming area. There's a lighthouse. There's a lookout point. Now let's just swing it. Ooh. turned around and found the beach, a little beautiful beach. So that's where the pier is, so that's how we'll get back to Perth. But look at the water, it's absolutely beautiful. You see like little, little poops around. I'm assuming these are all from the quakas. Here, let me just, let me taste it and make sure. Yeah, it tastes like quaka poop. And this is the part that ends up kind of getting crazy. So what happened was I ended up shooting the drone out around 500 meters, as you see here. I was pretty far away from the pier, from the beach, from where we were at, 
and I couldn't shoot the drone back. It fought against the wind. The battery was going lower and lower, quicker, quicker, quicker. It started decreasing and it was hovering between 510 meters and 530 meters continuously. Uh, ended up finding a boat where I landed the drone out and uh, here's the rest of what you'll see. Oh my god, yeah. So the drone lost battery while it's over there. I think the guy in the boat caught it. The wind got so strong that the drone couldn't come back and uh, it wouldn't fly back at all. And I am surprisingly got it onto the boat. I think the guy caught the drone. I don't know, but my whole screen just blacked out and he's, he's going the other way now. Help! And yeah, the drone blanked out. It was at 55% and I shot it out and it wouldn't come back. It was hovering at 500 meters, 515, and we just couldn't get it to come back. And the drone was probably at like 11% critical and I just it started moving forward slowly and I ended up getting it over the guy's boat which it was very difficult to get it over the guy's boat and it just kept hovering over the guy's boat with like four percent left and the whole screen blanked out the guy was waving at the drone I really hope he got the drone back oh my god my drone screen just came on the guy has my drone on the boat I don't know if you can see it you see that yeah I can see it this is insane right now all right, let's see if we can get it back. So we just went to the park ranger and the, the guy in the boat apparently called in saying the drone is here. I guess I'm not allowed to fly a drone on Rottnest Island. When I prep the drone, let's say, uh, it'll let me know where I can fly it and where I can't fly it. And it said I couldn't fly it like 10 feet behind me. I ended up flying it over the ocean and it wouldn't come back. Just the wind was way too strong. I landed it on the boat. It almost hit the rig. Basically the bottom hit the rig and it almost went to the water but the guy caught the drone and yeah I should be getting my drone around 3 30 p.m. in about two hours. This is one of the most insane drone stories ever I feel like. Oh my god so we're we're getting a beer right now. <laughs> what a day. What a day. What a day. What a story. <laughs> This is Let's get the drone back. First. Let's get the drone. Back. <laughs> this is insane. Oh my god. So the drone should be on that boat right over there. This is like one of the most insane drone stories ever, I feel like. So the drone battery, it wouldn't come back because the wind was so strong. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, there it is, Black Stallion. So James here saved my drone. I could not believe it, James. I really appreciate it, man. And oh, Black Stallion, you're back. <laughs> That's the name. Don't forget the captain. The captain. What's your name? Richard. Richard, thank you so much. No I could worries, not believe this happened. Good flight. Oh, yeah, thank you. It's a pleasure to meet you no guys. Worries. Thank you so much you for saving the drone. I tell you what, go buy yourself a lottery ticket because it was that close to going to the water. Oh, my God. You guys are the best. Thank you so much. Oh, my God. I can't believe I got the drone back. It looks like the wing is a little damaged. One wing is damaged, but I have extra wings and extra propellers, so. Oh, my God. I can't believe I got it back, honestly. Look who's back. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> I couldn't believe I got it back. <laughs> All right, guys, those barrels were amazing. We we're about to find a new place to shoot the drone up. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> First the drone, now his bike. Hopefully it'll be okay. Gucci? Yeah. All right. We're heading east, okay, yeah, we're heading east. Uh, yeah, let's, let's see what Barracks. There's a lot of kids around here. It's not a school. It's a camp when I was just told. And uh, yeah, this is one of the little towns. There's a lot of little barracks, a lot of little buildings around here. Another tour bus over here. Say hi to the vlog. You guys are in the vlog. You guys want to be in the vlog? <laughs> Everyone's in the vlog. Welcome to the vlog, guys. <laughs> I think I found some new fans. Take care, guys. Take care, guys. <laughs> it's always awesome finding new fans. <laughs> oh, and little little peacock here. Are they? Oh, he's. Oh God. <laughs> he's literally walking towards me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it, is it is me. I am getting kind of chased by a peacock. How fast do they get? <laughs> You sneaky son of a gun. Ah, so there's a shipwreck over here. So we're right over here, shipwreck's right over there, so it's right around that way. Cool. She's back. 
I don't have protection of the bicycle. So it was going uphill, so we decided to turn around pretty quick. We're not looking for that exercise today. Maybe another day. So we made back to the food area. We have about two hours to our ferry. I don't know if we're gonna bike around a little more. We might explore a little bit more. Um, but yeah, we're hanging out with this guy right down here. Oh my god, he's so cute. So we got two hours for our ferry. I, of course, got some Oreo cheesecake. And the lady here is so nice. She ended up giving me a free donut knowing I'm waiting for so long. And she told me to look out for these birds because these birds will just snatch it out of your mouth. Oh, this is like the cutest one just hanging out with us. <laughs> yeah, the cutest claw. It's like a little kangaroo, this one looks like. <laughs> I'm gonna name you Franklin. You wanna come home, Franklin? Come back to Perth? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. What's up, Franklin? <laughs> Get ready to fit him in your bag. <laughs> we got a little space there. If the drone was gone, we'd definitely throw him in the ba that bag. Right? You want to get in the camera bag or you want to get in Dustin's bag? We're going to teach you how to edit. You can help me edit my films. Oh my gosh, he's just hanging out with us. So we've been just literally sitting here for the last like two hours. Hour and a half uh, until our ship, our sh whoa, the seagull, until our boat leaves. Our boat leaves in about 40 minutes. We've been just hanging out, playing with the quakas. Oh, this one literally just tried to jump on the other one. Look at how cute they are. Hello, quakas. Hello. Oh, <laughs> oh he's like. <laughs> she was saying, oh, there's the stick. Uh oh. She was saying that this one has been so bad that they've called the police on him. Oh, man. <laughs> this way. Come on, come on, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Go further, go further, go further, go further. He's saying that this one is a troublemaker. He always comes by. They called the police on him just last week. <laughs> bad quakas, bad quakas. So we're jumping back on the bikes. Our ferry leaves in about 20 minutes, right over there. And uh, yeah, let's not miss our ferry. Let's -a go. All right, what an awesome day in Rodness Island. We saw a peacock, we saw some birds, we saw some quakas, and uh, now we got a 25 minute ferry ride and a 40 minute ride back to our Airbnb. Ugh. All right, we made it back to our pad in Osborne Park. It was quite the adventure of a day in Rottnest Island. Unfortunately, we didn't get to go snorkeling because the marine life is phenomenal around there, but we saw a lot of quakas. We got to play with the quakas. We had a heck of a drone scare, so I'm gonna definitely have to check out the drone and test out the drone the next couple days. And uh, yeah, we had an awesome time, I thought, in Rottnest Island. We are heading back to our place right now, and let me show you what I booked up. I ended up getting taken care of through VIP Stays, which handles a ton of different Airbnbs all throughout, I think Australia, maybe it's just Perth, but a ton of different Airbnbs, and uh, I'll show you what the property looks like. We made it to our place, so let's take a look. Put our stuff down, so it's a little, a little sloppy, but once you come in, you get a little kitchen, which is really nice. They do have a washer also for clothing. Then you have this little living room area. They do, they have a balcony right outside also. This is a futon that we get to hang out at, but this is currently Dustin's bed. They also have a TV right over here. And then walk right through this. This is the bedroom. So it's, again, it's a little sloppy, so bear with me, but it's a beautiful bed right over here. You get to see Paris. <laughs> and then you come through this way, and you have the bathroom. So it's a stand-up shower, very simple toilet, sink, and right back into the bedroom. So we've been here for two nights already. This is our last night at this property. And we'll be going to another property through VIP Stays closer to the beach uh, for the next three nights. I absolutely love Airbnbs because you have the full kitchen set up. You have a lot more than a hotel would. So it's uh, it's been a lot of fun here for the last two nights. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the pretty wild vlog today from the drone skier to all the cute, cute quakas. Personally, I think they're the cutest animals on the planet and it was so much fun to play with the quakas, even though you're not allowed to. If you guys enjoyed this vlog, hit that like button. Comment down below if you guys have any questions. Hit that notification bell so you guys are notified for the next coming vlogs. And welcome to the channel if you guys are brand new. We're gonna do probably one more vlog in Australia in the next couple days, and then we're gonna be heading out to Cambodia. So this has been an awesome two nights so far at VIP Stays. One more night here, three more nights in Australia at their next property close to the beach, and then off to Cambodia. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Oh, 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 oh,